All right, we've got the W5KUB110 out. This is a 32 inch, it's a, a full 32 inch diameter spear. So it's a four gore balloon. When this thing fills up, you're gonna actually see four sides or four gores that are gonna fill up and then it's gonna uh, stretch out to be perfectly round. So we're gonna start inflating it in just a minute. We've got our manometer set up and our pressure uh, uh, set up here where we can test. So at, uh, we wanna make sure that we can handle about 0.4 PSI. So 0.4 PSI is gonna be about 11 inches of water rise, water column. And uh, the way the manometer reads this, the water, the air pressure, the air pressure from the balloon comes down the tube and it goes up and it pushes the water, it pushes the colored water down and it pushes it up. So we need 11 inches and uh, the way you measure this is you measure how far it goes down and how far it goes up and you add them together and that gives you uh, your total water column rise. Now, or you can just double double this. And what we've got here is we've got a little tape measure. We can loosen this and we can move this tape measure up or down. And we got it, we've got it pretty much at zero right here. So we're looking to bring this balloon pressure up to about, uh, let's see, 11, uh, probably about five and a half, uh, five and a half water column, which is, equals 11 inches. So uh, we'll see how that goes. So we're going to get back here and put a little air in it very slowly, really slow. And I uh, have to turn this valve off. All right, it'll, it'll blow the water out of the manometer. And then I'm going to turn this one on. And that's going to allow us to put some air in the balloon. So here we go. We're going to go real slow, very slow. And I just blew all the water. Ah, I turned that on instead of off. Uh, the colored water, you can see the colored water came out. It went out the top here. It went out the top and it went across the room here and it hit the balloon. So I'm going to have to uh, put some more colored water in and uh, readjust things. Okay, we have, uh, we have refilled our manometer with our colored liquid. And we've adjusted the uh, tape measure down to zero here. This long, we're going to put some air in it very slowly. All right, here we go. Of course, we won't have any we won't have any pressure yet on our manometer, so uh, we'll have to wait till we get it. Now you'll start to see the four doors; they're going to start uh, expanding here and start separating. If you look down this uh, crease here, you'll see that crease is going to split in a minute. You can see it coming apart. Sounds like it's breaking, but here's the other side is filling out. Don't know if I can get around there or not. Let's see. You can see the four gores starting to show up. See, it's starting to fill up the four gores. The four gores, you can see some of the 
ridges there. The four gores are starting to fill out. It's turning into a ball now, a sphere. And that's what uh, makes this type balloon so much larger uh, than a regular uh, balloon that we've been flying is that it only has basically two sides and it fills up kind of like a, a pancake. Uh, so you can see the crease is still, it hadn't separated here yet. More pressure will separate that. And we've got to do that kind of in the warm weather. They're saying that if this thing inflates uh, when it's cold, that uh, this is brittle and uh, it'll damage it. Uh, so we need to really uh, inflate this uh, here on the ground. We'll pressure test it and we'll be able to inflate it to the pressure that we think is safe and uh, it will expand out. And that way when we fill it back up later, uh, it won't have to pressurize and, 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 and separate all the different uh, uh, four gore se uh, seams. Okay, well, as you can see, it's starting to, uh, it's starting to fill out. And uh, when it fills out, all these wrinkles should go away. This is one of the seams of one of the gores. It's a four gore, so we've got one, two, three, four sides of this balloon. So it's starting to fill out. You can see it's starting to take a nice round shape to it. And uh, we'll try to get that pressure up. We're, uh, we're only up to about uh, two inches of water right now. So um, let's see. Yeah, we're up to about... Uh, we're up to about two inches of water. So two inches, that's a 0 0.072 uh, PSI right now. So we're gonna keep going with it. Well, as you can see, we're already up to a little over five. There's five and a quarter, uh, five and a quarter inches of water uh, column, which means that's 10 and a half inches. And uh, 10 and a half inches is gonna put us up well over uh, 0 0.36 uh, PSI. So. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go up a little higher. Tell you what, we're gonna let it sit like this for a while. It feels pretty tight, but we're gonna let it sit like this for a little while and let it do its own little stretching there. And we'll come back and we'll put a little bit more pressure in it. And uh, we really don't need to bring it up much more. Uh, you know, just a little bit more, another uh, another half inch here, and uh, we will be in a safe range to fly it. All right, we're actually up to uh, six and a half inches. We're at uh, six and a half inches right here on our manometer. And uh, we're gonna let it sit there for a while. Six and a half inches is quite a bit of pressure. Six and a half, uh, 13, that's about 0.45 uh, PSI. So we're gonna, we're gonna let it sit like this, let it do its own stretching. And uh, we'll let it fill out for a little while. All right, so the manufacturer says that uh, it needs to be warm to stretch out. And uh, we're going to help it here a little bit with a hairdryer to get some of these wrinkles out. You'll see some of the wrinkles go away if the balloon doesn't move out of the way. I'm going to try here. Well, okay. almost impossible to hold the balloon here and, and film and uh, and blow it too. Well, we've taken it up to about six and a half. Uh, that'd be about 13 inches of water column. 13 inches of water column would be about a, about a 0.45 uh, um, PSI. So uh, it surely can withstand the, uh, the uh, pressure at altitude. But uh, anyway, it's looking pretty good, so I think we're about ready to fly this one. I've got the tracker uh, being tested, and um, uh, hopefully within the next 
five, six days we can, we can launch and uh, we'll see how this one does.